is Diva Makeup Queen and today, oh, you gotta check out this shirt that I have going on. Woo, I love it, look. It says YouTube Diva Makeup Queen. <laughs> oh, and today we're gonna talk about this bad boy right here. That's right, Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation. Now, this has been popular for ever and we all know why it's amazing coverage it's flawless it's great for hd camera etc but now they came out with a new formula and makeup forever was kind enough to send me some samples to try out Ooh, child let me just tell you it may may very well be one of the best foundations i've ever tried high end and or drugstore I am so impressed with this. So let me give you a little bit of information about the foundation first. This foundation is $43 and is available at Sephora and also the Make a Foundation, Make a Foundation, Make a Forever website. It comes with a wide, wide range of color, which is very impressive. Um, I would suggest if you have a store, like a Sephora store close to you, go get Color Match. Um, I did not get color match. Unfortunately, the colors that were sent to me are pretty darn close. So I'm wearing it right now and it looks great. Let me tell you this. I've been out all day for over three, uh, eight hours and I would say a pretty long lasting. It does not become oily or like melty by the end of the day. You do see a little bit less coverage by the end of the day, but the flawlessness is still there. I think that's really what makes this foundation so amazing because, I mean, it's like all my pores are just gone. I, I don't know, like just look at my face. This is a perfect example because this is an HD camera and you just see a very, very smooth surface. Love the fact that this foundation comes with a pump. Every foundation should come with a pump. I think this formula is even better. Now, you're gonna ask me how is it even better than the old one? I don't know because I didn't own the old one, but I have tried it. I feel like just based on the little experience I had with the old formula, that this one is even more flawless and even more long-lasting. This foundation is oil-free, lightweight um, and a natural skin finish is how I would describe it. Not dewy, uh, not matte, but it just very very much matches how the skin appears. Which is what makes it so incredibly impressive. Well, this doesn't really oxidize, which is good for foundation. And also it's about um, light to medium coverage. It's definitely buildable. Just an FYI, um, the two colors that are pretty close to me are Y325, I mean, yes, Y325, or 118, or 125, Y315. It has a yellow undertone. One of them is more yellow than others, so they're pretty close. So. I'm really happy with how it came out. It's beautiful. Also, I use this brush, a flat brush, for the foundation application. This is Sigma Flat Kabuki F80, which is really great for foundation. So I like that a lot, and it dries pretty quickly too. Yeah, just wanted to mention that. Mm. Lastly, I wanted to mention some of the primers that come along. They're $36 and all different and for different things. What I love about this is, look at this. It's you see, it's like a little tip like that, so you don't overuse it. And really, you just need a pea size. I have not tried out every single one of these uh, primer, but the ones I tried, I really like. And FYI, with my testing, I tried it with all these primers. And love the packaging too, it's so matte and smooth. Anyway, this one right here is the base, the mattifying primer. This one, it will be good for oily skin or those of you who know that you need your makeup to last forever and you're gonna become oily by the end of the night this is for you soothing primer is for people who have enlarged pores and I've tried this one and honestly like I feel like even without primer this foundation alone really makes your skin flawless anyway so I don't know how much this adds to it so this nourishing primer here is for like patches of dry skin or whatever areas you have dry skin so hydrating primer this one's for normal skin I think it hydrates and it's just 
normal primer. Okay guys, I hope that you found this review helpful. If you do, please consider giving me the thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. And meanwhile, do follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Snapchat. And I have a lot of things going on in Snapchat. Um, almost like a daily vlog. So check me out there. And it's all under the name Diva Makeup Queen. Oh yeah, girl. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'll see you next time. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Bye! Soothing primer is for people who have. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, I have to have some echinacea tea. It's like freezing here in New York. Okay, guys, I hope that you found this review helpful. And here's some swatches of the foundation so that you can see. No, I don't need swatches. Incredibly, um, incre incredibly. Which what? Which is what makes it so incredibly impressive? Let's get so. For people with dry, 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 dry skin, holy cow.